Hey guys, I am back and today I have a long overdue empties video. I have so much stuff here in my bin. It's literally overflowing. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. No chit chat. Um, bear with me because I feel like this is going to be a long one. So first thing on top here, real quick, some Pampers sensitive wipes. I use these for literally anything and everything cleaning my dog, cleaning myself, cleaning my hands, cleaning my bathroom, like everything. I love these, always will repurchase. I'm just gonna throw stuff on my couch behind me. Um, okay, I have this conditioner. This is the Eva NYC Tone It Down Blonde Conditioner. This is my favorite, one of my favorite purple conditioners. I think that a really pigmented purple conditioner can act as a great toner. So this is one that is really, really pigmented. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like really dark. It's like kind of crusted around the edge there. L'Oreal also has one that is also as pigmented. So between those two, actually there's a red can one too, but <laughs> between those three, I will always repurchase. Um, this one is like in the middle price range. The L'Oreal is a little bit cheaper and the, um, Redkin is a little bit more expensive, but yeah, I have already repurchased. I love it. Okay, I have, oh my gosh, a bunch of Bath & Body Works hand soaps. So let's start with these two. Um, blueberry Lemonade and Fresh Lemonade. That's kind of funny. Um, I had the Fresh Lemonade at my kitchen sink. I loved the way it looked and the way it smelled. It was different than the kitchen lemon scent. So I liked it. It was a little bit sweeter. And the Blueberry Lemonade, it was a pretty good scent. It was kind of light. It didn't really smell too much like lemonade oh sorry it didn't smell too much like blueberry it kind of was just like it kind of smelled just like this honestly but it was good i would repurchase it i always repurchase bath and body works hand soaps actually i have a few more so let's just go through these all at once i have strawberry kiwi this was a good um end of summer scent i really liked this nothing just like nothing too special but it smelled good um island papaya is a favorite of mine i repurchase this almost every year um it's just like a nice tropical fruity scent um kind of smells like banana -y and papaya -y. i love it and then what's the scoop cherry vanilla float this one was highly coveted it was really hard to get a hold of this i love this one i have another one it smells dead on like cherry vanilla float. You can even kind of smell like the carbonation. It's delicious. Let's keep on the Bath and Body Works train here. I have a set that I used this summer. This is the pink watermelon shower gel and body cream. The keynotes are juicy watermelon, pink petals, and dewy aloe. This smelled good. It was good enough for me to buy it, but I got bored of it in the shower just because it's such a like fakey watermelon scent uh, which I thought I would be into and like I said like it smells good but it just got like boring and kind of overwhelming in the shower so I probably wouldn't repurchase like body care of it again but a nice candle of watermelon lemonade I love um you know room fragrance hand wash but not for like all over the body I finished this amazing Grace dry shampoo. I love this dry shampoo from Philosophy. Um, it's one of my fave. I got it for free from Ulta once and I was like, this is probably gonna suck. I say this every time I have one of these. This is probably gonna suck um, because it's like a fragrance, there's something sticky on here, because it's like a fragrance brand and typically they don't really make like the best products. <laughs> I didn't think it would be effective as a dry shampoo and it is, it works amazing, soaks up all the oil smells delicious like you can smell this in your hair for days once you use it once um, I really like it and I have already repurchased another little Bath & Body Works set here that I finished is the coconut cream pie in the shower gel and the lotion now this is amazing it is hoard worthy i don't have any more unfortunately i wish i did i know there's a bunch of dupes like santa's cookies or something and what was the other one oh uh, someone said confetti cake pop is similar i i honestly haven't smelled those so i'm not entirely sure but this was amazing to use this summer it gave you that little bit of like coconut tropical vibe but the vanilla and like 
creamy caramel custard note behind it was so, so good. I loved this. So the scent notes are toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. I loved it. It smells so good. The Actually, the body lotion, I felt like, smelled better because you get more of, like, the creamy note in it. It literally was, like, rubbing. And the formula of this lotion I was actually surprised about because I wasn't super happy to buy the lotion because they didn't have the body cream in it. But the lotion was very moisturizing. It was pretty thick, and it really was, like, it, it emulsified onto the skin really well. It really was, like rubbing like custard onto your skin it was really good i would highly recommend definitely repurchase okay and then another shower gel i finished um was this almond milk and honey i kind of used this here at the beginning of fall kind of just like a nice cozy scent so this is from the body shop um this smells okay it smells clean has a slight almond scent but it kind of does have like a soapy almond scent to it i like it um but i just probably wouldn't repurchase it um didn't have a ton of scent to it and then which is good sometimes honestly um and then I would just was finishing up this Vaseline cocoa radiant um cocoa butter lotion um I've had this for a while and it's kind of just been sitting in my cupboard and when I was using this I was like you know what let me just finish this um oh divine I love the way this smells it obviously is from the drugstore so it's super cheap you can get your hands on it really easily definitely a repurchase for me um it makes your skin super glowy and dewy and beautiful so um probably not a repurchase definitely a repurchase this is how long i haven't done an empties video for i love these i've always repurchased them sad news sad news though they have come out with a new formula, a new packaging, right? And I was like, oh, whatever, new packaging. They also reformulated it. And it has literally like half of certain ingredients. I believe it still has the same amount of actual melatonin, but what's in their propriet proprietary rest well blend, which is all these, this list of stuff, they have, it's half, it's like six milligrams. And in this old one, it's 11 milligrams. So. I have two bottles of this left, which I will use. And when it comes time to, for me to repurchase, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to repurchase it because I like this formula. This formula works for me. Half of the active ingredients, I'm not sure will work for me. So I don't know if I'm going to buy a bottle and see if it works um, or try to move on to something else. You guys let me know if you have had any other better melatonin, like the Ollie brand or Unisom or something. I just, I'm disappointed, Sugar Bear Hair, because I would spend $30 a month on this, but you messed it up. I have a lot of skincare in here, so I am just going to try to um, get through some of it. Um, so this here is the Better Skin Company Gel Cleanser. It's their detox cleanser with lava, charcoal, and green tea. I got this... I believe on clearance at Ulta. It was really cheap. This is like a higher end brand, but it was on clearance. It smells pretty good. It smells like green tea. Um, so I didn't really know what to think about it, but I was like, it literally was dirt cheap. Like, let me try it. I really liked this. I think that it took my makeup off. I don't think it caused any breakouts on my skin. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it was gentle. Um, yeah, I like it. I, we don't sell it at Ulta anymore. So, um, I can't really repurchase unless I, you know, sought it out on their website or something. But if you see this at like a TJ Maxx or something, definitely give it a try. It was pretty good. Then I finished a moisturizer. This is the Clinique. I should know I use this all the time. The Clinique Moisture Surge uh, Moisturizer. I love this stuff. It is a staple for me. Um, you know, like if I'm somewhere at Ulta, wherever, and I'm like, oh, I need a new moisturizer, and I don't feel like researching stuff, looking stuff up, whatever, I just grab this and go, because it, I just know it's good, it doesn't break me out, it is uber moisturizing, I love the texture of it, um, it's good. I definitely would recommend if you're just looking for a, a standard nighttime moisturizer. I also finished this Alginist Elevate 
firming and lifting eye cream. I've had this for forever. Um, I try to use eye creams. I'm not the best at using them every single day, um, but it was good. I got it at Ulta on sale, like as a 21 Days of Beauty or something like that a while ago. Not something I would pay full price for, but it was good to have and it moisturized. My under eye area didn't leave any like residue or anything or burn me, so it was pretty good. Okay, let's stay on this skincare train <laughs> while we're here. So I have the Heritage Store Rose Petal Facial Toner. I love this stuff. You can get it at Ulta. I happened to get this one at TJ Maxx. Um, I think it is just a uber gentle, super nice toner. I have repurchased it in the new packaging, which is much cuter. Um, yeah, I like it. I, I would 100% recommend. I know that's pretty much a cult classic. Speaking of rose water, I have two of my favorite makeup remover wipes ever. This is the Equate Rose Water Cleansing Towelettes. I am obsessed with these. I have like three more in my cupboard. Um, they take off your makeup, they don't burn the skin, they are soft. If you get any other kind of the Equate brand makeup wipe, they are hard and they hurt. These are not. Um, they don't leave a residue. They do have fragrance, but they smell good. Um, like I said, they take off makeup, they're soft. I love them. They're fairly inexpensive, so definitely would recommend. Um, then I just have a little travel of the Neutrogena wipes. These were my favorite um, before I found those, and they are good, but they do leave a slight residue, so I only repurchase those every once in a while. I finished this Drunk Elephant Bestie Number no. 9 Gel Cleanser. I do like this, honestly. I've seen mixed reviews about it. I do like it. It is so, 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 so basic, which kind of is like, okay, I could just buy Cetaphil instead. <laughs> um, I don't know. If, I was, if it was like on a 21 Days of Beauty sale or something, I would consider purchasing that. One of my faves, Shiseido Cottons. Um, literally, I will never repurchase any other kind of cottons ever again. They're my fave. I finished this as a daytime moisturizer. This is the Biotherm Aquasource Gel Moisturizer. This is like a deluxe sample, but it lasted me a really long time because you don't use a ton of moisturizer, especially during the day. I put on literally as little as possible. Um, so yeah, this was good. Not something I would have purchased. I have found two facial moisturizers that I really don't wanna stray away from um, for the daytime anyways, but I had that and I used it and it wasn't bad at all. Okay, so I actually traveled quite a bit here recently. I spent a week in Vermont and then I've done a couple um, weekend trips. So I'm gonna try to go through all of the minis that I have here. It's kind of a lot. Um, there's one I'm missing. Oh, but I will go through them. So the thing I just said I was missing was this little sample of soap I got from Ulta. It's the Daily Concepts um, Mother of Pearl Soap. I really liked this. I would definitely recommend buying this for travel. It came in like, it was one of those soaps that was like in um, a loofah already and it was really great for travel. So I would recommend that. Um, I also finished this La Roche Pisset Normal to Oily Skin um, Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I liked this as well, something I would consider purchasing in the future. It was great for travel. Um, I finished a travel size Rusk Dry Shampoo. I did not like this. Um, it literally felt like hairspray. And every time I used it, I was like, dry shampoo? Yeah, not hairspray, weird. Like it just was not good. I don't think it like absorbed oil. It made my hair feel so like sticky and hard and it just was not good. Um, I used these guys while I traveled. These actually lasted me a while. These are the Love Beauty and Planet Argan Oil and Lavender Shampoo and Conditioner. I got these I believe as a sample from Ulta. I liked these. You know, I'm really trying to stray away from drugstore shampoos and conditioners. Like I have a few, like right now I'm using a Dove shampoo because I am trying to use it up and stick with more professional hair care. Um, but like this made me kind of wonder, like that was pretty good. I would buy that. Um, I finished this mini Pacifica Lavender Moon Body Lotion. This was good. I liked the way it smelled. Let me turn my phone off. I liked the way it smelled, however, the packaging of this was terrible. I mean, the hole is like decently sized, but I could not squeeze this out of here for the life of me. I guess the whole, that hole is really tiny, but I could not squeeze this out of here for the life of me. It was actually really annoying to use, but the actual product was good. I used this 
um, little sample, the Alterna Caviar CC Cream. It's a 10 in 1 like leave-in conditioner. I loved this. I would definitely purchase full size of that if I ever needed a leave-in conditioner. I have so many. I used this little shower gel from my Luxaton Advent Calendar. This is the, um, what was this? The peony one? Cherry Blossom? Cherry Blossom one. I liked that. Not something I would really repurchase though. And I used these two also from the Loxiton Advent Calendar. This is the Verbena one. So the shower gel and the lotion. The packaging was kind of annoying, um, but great for travel. Good to use up. I finished this Biotherm Sensitive Balm sample that I got. This was just like a, I use it as a nighttime moisturizer. I don't really know what it's used for. It smells good. Um, it was okay, not something I'd purchase. And then something that I love that I used, I use this as both a body lotion and a facial moisturizer. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This one was the grapefruit one. Um, I, I love the Ultra Repair Creams and, sorry, there's a motorcycle driving past. I love the Ultra Repair Creams. Like I said, I like to use them on my face and my body. They work so, so well, especially for travel. You know, bring one little tube and you're set um, for both. So definitely a repurchase for me. I have so much hand cream. This also tells you how long I haven't done a video in. So I have the Bath & Body Works Hyaluronic Acid one. This is the only one I love to take to work in my scrub pocket. I have the like Bath & Body Works wise because all the other ones are super greasy, I feel like. This is the Body Shop Shea, love that one, love the way it smells. The Body Shop Coconut, probably my favorite scent from the Body Shop. Body Shop Winter Jasmine, I didn't like the scent, but I had it, so I used it. And then this one I get compliments on all the time, the L'Occitane Almond one, I have a purchase the full size of this, I love it. Um, so I keep all of these little guys, well, one at a time, <laughs> in the pocket of my scrub because, my scrubs, because at work, I work at the hospital because uh, I wash my hands all day long and I need to replenish the moisture. So my favorites are the Body Shop and the L'Occitan um, ones. And then if I get a free Bath & Body Works one, I will use it. I have quite a bit of makeup in here, so I'm gonna start with powders. The first one I have is the NYX um, color correcting powder. This is the banana one. I use this to set my whole face. I really, really like it and I have since repurchased. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder. I got this for free. It wasn't my favorite. I mean, it claims to like keep you oil free for 24 hours or some ridiculous claim and it just, it doesn't. So I would not spend the money on it. I have two deodorants in here. Um, typically I don't put deodorant in here, but if there's something special, I do. So this is the Lumi Deodorant and Coconut Crush. I have since fallen in love with Lumi. Actually, I have one of their soaps here, so I might as well talk about the soap while I'm here. This is the Lumi uh, Clean Tangerine Soap. Um, I love their stuff. I don't use it in all aspects of my routine, um, but I use it quite often. The one thing about the deodorant that I don't love is that it's not an antiperspirant. So in the summertime, I had to actually stop using this and go back to just like Dove or Secret because I was sweating so much. I didn't realize how much I sweat, I guess, because I've always used an antiperspirant. So when I wasn't using an antiperspirant, I was like sweating. I was like, Ooh, okay, it didn't smell, but I was sweating. So I skipped this for the summer and then went back to it like now um, in October. Um, so I repurchased, same with the soap. I actually love the soap. Um, I've been into bar soaps lately and this is definitely one of my favorites. It's sensitive for all parts of your body. It makes you smell great. Repurchase for sure. The other deodorant here was the Kapari CBD deodorant. I also really like the Kapari deodorants. I thought the CBD one would be the same as like their regular coconut oil one and it's it's not. I don't think it worked as well as the regular coconut oil one so I wouldn't repurchase the CBD one. Um, there's nothing special about this honestly. It smelled like lavender and like weed. <laughs> not like actual weed but like herbally. Um, yeah, nothing special about this. I would much rather repurchase just the regular coconut oil Kapari deodorant. I finished two mascaras with traveling. One was the Bare Minerals Lash Topia, and the other one was the Smashbox Super Fan. Neither of these were amazing. Wouldn't repurchase. I finished my favorite brow um, gel ever. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. Definitely a dupe. Where can you see this? 
definitely a dupe for the benefit one with like a quarter of the price probably I have already repurchased I finished two chapsticks I keep these also in my scrub pocket at work because I tend to use like pots of lip balm and stuff here at home but at work I just use a stick so this is the Blistex one it was good and the Burt's Bees Cucumber Mint I prefer the Burt's Bees one a lot actually I finished a candle this summer. I am known to use one of these candles every summer because in the summer you don't really burn candles, which is fine. Um, but if I can get through one, I will. And my favorite scent for summer is watermelon lemonade. It is just juicy and sweet and divine. So good. So the scent notes on this are cool watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. It's funny because like I said, the body care version is not my favorite but this candle mm, so juicy I will burn it all day long a bunch of little hand sanitizers I will fly through them I have a truly one which I got for free it was fine the um, Bath and Body Works uh, cherry chill that one was good Bath and Body Works old packaging twisted peppermint Bath and Body Works scent no stress relief and Bath and Body Works pumpkin cupcake they were all just used as hand sanitizer nothing special. I have two deep conditioners that I used and then we're almost done. I just have uh, those little um, wallflower plugs left. Um, this is the Main Club Procrastinator um, deep conditioner packet. I did not like this. Um, it was cute. Um, like the packaging is cute and the sayings on it like says combat frizz today, do everything else tomorrow. And I liked that. However, it severely dried out my hair and it was not good at all. I would not recommend. This one I did like, the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter. How divine does matcha butter sound? I wanna spread that all over my hair. It was good. I felt like it left a slight residue. Maybe my hair is not like curly enough for it, but I liked it. And I would get another sample of it for sure. I might not like purchase the full size, but I did like it. Then I have a million and five of these things, okay? I'm just gonna go through them and tell you if I liked them or not. Pink watermelon was okay. Berry waffle cone was good. Pink watermelon was okay. Tiki beach was good. Sea salt lime I actually really liked. Strawberry pound cake I liked. This one surprised me, rainbow confetti. This was a powerhouse. I loved that one. Vampire blood. I think I have two vampire bloods. Two vampire bloods. I love the way vampire blood smells, but in a wallflower, it doesn't have any scent power. White teen sage, I really like. The perfect autumn is okay. I have that one plugged in right now. Lavender vanilla, so good. I have repurchased so many of these. Um, it really doesn't even have, it's lavender blossom, creamy vanilla, white woods and sugared musk. It smells so good. It smells just like the lavender marshmallow candle that they had a little bit ago. I love it. So that is everything I have finished in the past like three or four months. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will try to bring you more content, but my life is so busy lately. I have the new dog, which is a whole thing. Um, I'm in working full time and I am in school part time. So life is getting a little hectic. Um, but anyways, I hope you liked this video. Leave me video suggestions down below if you want to. Leave me comments with what you're using up in your empties. Um, yeah, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.